Hello everyone, uh, quick update to, well, actually this is going to be the first video on it. This is the Invader, 78 Invader, uh, 440, making it into a race sled right here. I've just been doing a lot of uh, liquid wrench over the last few days on this nice bolt here. You like my uh, spray can? Yeah, I should probably get some more liquid wrench, but this is the this is a perfect seat under here and... Of course, I'm letting it sit like that, but it's okay. Uh, I've been doing a lot to the sled. I shined up all the boards on either side. I uh, uh, bedline coated the tank. I just like how it looks. Uh, under the hood. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> I just had that sat, sat on there, the chain case cover. Um, came out pretty nice. I like how that looks. I cleaned up everything under the hood. Uh, this is all amazingly clean compared to what it was. Uh, there's one last thing to do under here before I put the engine back in. I hate how much play this lower bushing has. I need to get that figured out somehow. Um, I also bedline coated this. Uh, the clutch cover it looks really nice. Uh, the whole hood is perfectly good condition. There's some scratches on the paint, but other than that, it's wonderful. Um, as you can see, I have some parts laid out. I was messing around with the clutch to see what's going on, but the hood is in really good condition. Um, this is the engine. I just finished rebuilding this completely. Um, it's very, very nice. I think it's the best job I've ever done on an engine, <laughs> for sure. Completely rebuilt. It's ready to go in. Um, I don't have the coil on there, but I can put that on afterwards. Uh, it's because I need two bolts for it. But, uh, yep, completely ready to go in. I have the dash over here with the original gauges. And that's actually really good condition. There's one tiny crack right... Where is it? Somewhere on here, there's a tiny crack. Um, it's unfortunate, but... Again, it's not the end of the world. I actually don't know if that's again. I probably didn't say that before. Here's the clutch. Um, nothing really to see here. The rollers and stuff like that are pretty flat. Uh, these are F. I just realized that these are F, uh, F arms, F cam arms. I don't know about these. These don't look stock to me, but maybe they are. Maybe they are. I don't know. Um... Is there anything else to update on? I don't think so. Sorry my shop is such a mess, but... Uh, yeah, this has got to be ready in like a month or so. <laughs> Here, I'll give you guys a peek of what the uh, seat looks like. Here's the seat on it. Uh, beautiful seat. There you can see the crease that was it got from laying on there, but after a couple hours, that'll go away. Um, this is the reason I picked the sled over any of the other ones the guy had. <laughs> because that it's beautiful i do have to fix this uh, at least my worries right now oh and then also i need to build a an aluminum tunnel enclosure for it among many other things to do uh, like the skis and everything like that so uh i hope you guys enjoyed i'll keep you updated on what's to come thanks for watching